Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. A somewhat unhappy video I'm afraid, but we know that basically because these Lanerosi guys had a, a very very good team and I think we made a couple mistakes there. So let's start with the score. So we lost 4-1, which was somehow predictable. And, uh, well, not the 4-1. I was expecting something less, but yeah, uh, let's have a look at the stats. So 4-1, the final score. 59% ball possession for the opponents, 41% ball possession for us. We had a problem uh, with playing Acosta and Brianza at the same time. The problem is that Vario Pinto was not playing and he will not be playing the next game either. So this is a bit of a problem and this, in my opinion, led to a 59% ball possession for the opponents. 41% ball possession uh, for us. Then 15 shots for the opponents, 7 shots for us, 9 shots on target for them out of which they were able to score four times uh, which is a somewhat high uh, scoring ratio way higher than ours which is one goal out of three shots on target uh, two set pieces per side three yellow cards per side so we'll keep on going with this uh, uh, su surprisingly high uh, card rate uh, I don't know where it comes from but we had improved a lot and this season we have restarted getting a lot of cards that's going to give problems uh, throughout the uh, throughout the campaign I'm sure so yeah all in all this was the problem and well these were the stats and the mistake we have made uh, was that, well, po one possible mistake uh, is the fact that we have not been playing through balls. Through balls in particular on the right would have been uh, a very good tactics. But playing on the wings, I don't think, in particular on the right flank, I don't think was a big problem. Uh, or... I don't think we have chosen a bad tactics, possibly a bad kind of uh, attitude. Possibly, it was possibly not the best choice, but we'll never know because we can't replay this game with a different uh, uh, attitude. So we can't have proof of that. What we do have proof of, uh, or at least in my opinion, is that both Roccati, who's the left defender, this one guy here, and Scala Puntaros, I'm sorry for the pronunciation guys, I'm, um, I'm bad at this, had, um, uh, had a yellow card, which means that their defense was under, was under pressure, that's for sure. Uh, Scala Puntaros was playing here, I think, no, no, was playing here. Uh, so no central defender but yeah we've been playing on the wings and both left uh, and both um, back wingers have had problems against our our attacking wingers so I think we should have been going very attacking we have gone attacking then we started losing and as you saw in the previous video I I set the order, let's go slightly attacking in case we're losing because we're probably pushing too much and leaving too much space for the strikers. And it seems like at first it worked, but then the opponents could just um, outperform us by scoring a lot. So I think uh, this was possibly a bad choice to go uh, to go slightly attacking from attacking to slightly attacking because this has allowed the opponents to increase their ball possession and eventually increase the amount of goals so yeah I think we have to look into that and we should have been given more pressure in particular to number three Roccati because this guy uh, is somewhat slow if compared to uh, 
uh, Hudacek. So I think, and uh, Kyrgyakos as well. So I think um, we should, at least we've learned something about these opponents. We should be pushing more on the right in order to have at least one of these two disqualified and then just outperform them uh, one man down. But let's have a look at the standings. They still don't mean too much, but we're starting, I think, to see some kind of a shape here. Except for, I don't know exactly what Palermo Calcio look like. I don't, uh, I don't think Pauca Delfia deserve to be here. But uh, quite possibly when September rain do not deserve this either. But still, La Rosa Nera Luca are, uh, are getting there. I Pedro too. La Nerosi are very strong. And so we'll, in my opinion, we'll see one, two, and three slowly getting up to the top. Then possibly Liguria as well, and, and they're not far from the top, actually. They're, they're just three points away. We are ten points away instead, and um, I'm sorry, the Liguria are five points away, uh, no, uh, six points away from the top. And they're, in my opinion, three points away from the area that really counts. So with the with the good teams. So I think uh, nothing is done. Nothing is done yet, and we can't take for granted that we'll have to play a defensive uh, season. Absolutely not. Worst case scenario, in a few games, you'll see some sort of a revolution of Joss. Uh, I've already thought about that. And uh, I think this is going to be beneficial under so many standpoints in case we were not able to, um, to get up to at least the eighth position in three or four games. So, guys, uh, I think that was it for today. Enough speaking for today. Thanks a lot again for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.